one thing I at least had forgotten about your career is that you were named the Pro Bowl MVP at mm. one point. So that was that's huge. That was the year when people were like, "Why is Matt Schaub going to the Pro?" It wasn't your best year, um, but I guess a couple guys had dropped out and you gone. Uh, did you participate in that skills challenge that they had? So when I was going, they didn't have that. They had done away with it for a number of years, and then they brought it back here in the last, I don't know, four or five years, I guess, I, you know, for TV and to generate a little bit more excitement because you you know how the game has gone. Sometimes it's, it's kind of like watching practice or two-hand touch for like three quarters until yeah. you get to the fourth quarter and then guys realize, okay, I'm trying to play for that money. And, you know, you get a big bonus if you win the game versus you lose the game. So uh, they, I guess, just trying to develop some of that excitement. So they didn't have it when I was going to the Pro Bowl. In fact, uh, the first one I went to um, was down in South Florida. It was the first year that they didn't go to Hawaii back in uh, right before the lockout happened in 2010. So it was the 2009 season, um, which was my best year and, you know, got voted in. And then, yeah, like you said, the, the second time I went, um, I did get in because of someone dropped out. But we had a really good run game that year, so we didn't have to pass the mm -hmm. ball as much. Arian Foster was rolling, and so we had a very balanced attack in Houston that year. Yeah, I mean, you in 2000, so we need to do this. We'll, we'll do um, some, like, Matt Schaub PR releases for you, but from 2005 to 2018, the only guy not named Drew Brees, Phil Rivers, Ben Roethlisberger, Peyton Manning, or Tom Brady did win the passing title was Matt Schaub. I mean, that's you might be a Hall of Famer. Now that I just put that out there, right? <laughs> well, I mean, if if you look wow. at the fact that he threw for 527 yards in one game, which is the second most all time, that still boggles this my is, mind. By the way, yeah. that that the record is I think it's 554, but it was in 1951. Like no one's broken that. You talk about the game changing. Like was there? Yeah, that's bullshit. Was the 1951 record? They didn't have a clock. I don't think I don't feel like yards were the <laughs> same distance back then. It was just yeah. like some guy with a peg <laughs> that's leg. That's bullshit. Stepping off feet as best as he could. Wait, but well, I'm looking at this, Matt. Like, do you would you say Drew Brees is a Hall of Famer, Matt? Hundred percent. Okay, what about Phil Rivers? Oh, yeah, I, th ooh. I think he's got a chance. Yeah, okay. especially what he okay. might do this year in the playoffs. We'll see. Okay, what about Ben Roethlisberger? Yes. Okay, what about Peyton Manning? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, what about Tom Brady? You know it. Okay, what about the other guy who led the league in passing in, from 2005 to 2018, Matt Schaub? See, we died. We just did that no. for you. Well, you know, just the fact that I'm on here with you guys and you're saying this, man, you're really – my ego, I might just go out and sign and play for 10 more years. I don't know. You guys are uh, really doing me some, some good right now. But, no, I don't think so. I mean, I didn't start long enough. I didn't have enough of that success like those other guys. But um, well, that's how it happens sometimes. Yeah, let, let us – let us now we built you up. Let us tear you down. Um, let's talk about the <laughs> pick six record. Let's talk about the pick six. That's also Hall of Fame worthy on its own right. When you got to well, – what I, was it? How many games in a row? Four. When you got to the fourth, where you're like, "Fuck, I don't want to play anymore." When I look back at that that year in 2013, I, I go through each one of those throws as they happened, because there were a lot of good throws around those four mistakes, you know. But obviously, those were enhanced and those were you know scrutinized, and they were big plays. And you know, I put my team in a very bad position. But yeah, I mean, there were there were moments like, "Man, I'm done." Like this is this is terrible but at the same time I you know you had to reflect on some of the good with those bad plays and there were a lot of good and uh, you know obviously the team decided to move on after that year without me and so I had to you know refocus my career and what I wanted to do but man those were some tough times but hey so even negative records have some positive twist to them you're known for something you had something happen to you and it's just like negative publicity is good publicity because people are talking about you yeah they say you learn more from your mistakes than you do from your successes so at the end of that season, you were a genius. Uh, well, that's one way to look at it, for sure. <laughs> no, well, but it, it, was, it was interesting because I, when it was happening, my when I was watching it, my mindset is if I were him, I would probably fake an injury. But that's because I'm a loser, and I'll never be able to be an NFL quarterback. Mm -hmm. That's the mindset of an idiot like me. With you, were you like using it as motivation? Were you like ever down to a dark place where you were you know, considering, like, maybe I shouldn't be a starting quarterback ever again? No, you know, when I was going through it, I never thought about that because um, I knew I could still play and I knew I could still be a starter. It's about an opportunity, you know, and, and I let one opportunity slip there in Houston after seven years. But, you know, just to be able to get another one, that's what I was redirecting my mindset, my focus to, because I knew what I could bring to a team and what I could do on the football field. Um, but th that was a tough time. 
I, but when I look at it, the first one when it happened, we won the game still. We came back and beat Tennessee at home in week two. Then we had Seattle in week three. We had them on the ropes. Um, you know, we had the ball with the lead when the, the, that, that one happened, uh, when Richard Sherman, you know, intercepted it, which, you know, was a big mistake on third down, should have thrown it away. But then the other two, the, you know, they happened in losses at Baltimore and then at San Francisco. So, uh, but when you have one and you win, sometimes it can kind of get masked over, you know, True. you kind of hide mm-hmm. some of your mistakes when you win. So, uh, but when they happen and you lose or you lose by a score or something, you know, like that, and that's a crucial play in the game, especially late in the football game. I mean, obviously it gets magnified even more. All right, so let me spin it back to a positive. I got two for you. One is uh, I think the way our brains work, every, like, five years I just added an extra one. So if you had asked me what Matt Schaub's pick six record was, I would have said six games. So we've reset it to four. I know, I'm sorry. That's just by, like, 2040, I would have been like, yeah, Matt Schaub once threw a pick six in 16 straight games. It Mm -hmm. was crazy. In fact, I I actually think – It would be a record forever. Yeah. I actually think I did say last night we were taping another show. (laughs) I think I did say that it was six games for you. Your name came up in a trivia question. Um, We've reset. So it's four. We've reset, but – and then here's the other spin zone, uh, who we're a fan of this guy as well, but you got a promising – young quarterback in Jameis Winston who if he gets another shot we could erase that uh record of four we could and and let me just tell you this early in this season if you let's go back a little bit Tom Brady obviously is going to Tampa Bay he had a couple rough uh, weeks to start the season yep do you know it because last year his last throw in New England yep. against Tennessee was a pick six to Logan Ryan correct yeah, yeah. that's and what I remember he started this year in New England he started this year with a pick six in week one and week two. So if you look at the records, yes, I had four straight games. We got to week two. Tom Brady had was three straight games with a pick six. So I was sitting there week three. I was like, Tom, please throw another oh. one so you can get tied with me. I would have, it would have been great to just be right there with Tom with that record. You would have you know, been a Hall of Famer. Yeah, because it would have been another would conversation been- with Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a great, great to be right there, have those na- names neck and neck. But uh, unfortunately, he didn't have one in week three, so he was stuck at three games in a row. But uh, was almost there tied with him with that one. Yeah. 